okay uh, uh, good I have four parts here so first one is clinical knowledge second product introduction third is the operation and uh, maintenance last one is basic troubleshooting for the clinical knowledge there are three parts like uh, blood component second is anticoagulant tube introduction the third is blood collection method here why we have to introduce introduce this uh, clinical knowledge why because not all the uh, end user they are using control if they are if they are not using control uh, we will have some some unnecessary call on to the end user why because let me ask uh, why some result is not matching the other the other one and why this machine have the problem uh, I don't like this machine and the result is a little low sometimes it's low they always challenge our machine just because they don't have QC and they don't have control then everything is a mess so once they have these questions we have to we must know because we are engineer uh, even we are engineer we are not an application engineer but we the best way is we have some knowledge then we will not be challenged by them so like the blood component we should know some idea we should have some basic uh, uh, knowledge and also the tubes we also have some basic knowledge and also the blood collection method they are different kind of method and uh, if they are measuring if we, if, if we are doing a different uh, collection the result will be totally different so okay uh, we start from the blood component first one the blood uh, will be three parts like uh, plasma and uh, white blood cell and uh, platelet they will be um, stick together after we leave the blood sample for for a few minutes or 10 minutes the blood will have this uh, condition and at the bottom that is the RBC so you can see this is the, the blood the blood in the tube and you can see the red blood cell is where it's the red one okay and the platelet is like this and very small and the last one is white blood cell it's quite big quite big and uh, so you can see the quantity actually you can see the volume this is the volume so the most uh, one are plasma and uh, at the bottom the second uh, mo the second uh, more is the RBC and the very last one is the platelet and the uh, white blood cell okay volume means quantity so you can see the number of the blood component firstly is the red blood cell the shape is concave disc and the number is the biggest you can see the number is the you can see the unit in one liter this is means one liter uh, blood uh, the quantity the normal range is from 4.0 to 5.5 and uh, the unit is huge you can see the unit is huge compared into the platelet and compared into the white blood cell so you can see this is a lot the size the size you can see the size of the red blood cell is 82 to 95 and the function is contains hemoglobin 
which is responsible for carrying the oxygen through the human blood. So you can see that if a man, if a human, there's no, there's no red blood cell or something wrong of the red blood cell, like uh, mm, something dessert, right? The RBC will be getting less. So you can see this person is not getting enough oxygen. So you can see the face or uh, her face is white. Why? Just uh, no blood, no, no RBC. And uh, some people living in the high mountain area, like uh, Nepal, like uh, Bolivia, or even the people living in the Tibet. For these people, they are normally have very high RBC, high hemoglobin, because they, because uh, the air that area, the oxygen is very less. So you can see their in their body, their blood should be have more RBC, and then it will carry in the more oxygen through the body. Then they can live in that area. So you can see the standard here. The standard is for the normal normal area. For example, the, the people living in the low uh, uh, low uh, low level place. For example, uh, the people living in the close to the sea. You can say living close to Shenzhen or to Guangzhou or some area. So the, normally the, the RBC is in this range. And also the size is uh, similar. So this value is only for reference. We cannot say this is uh, the, the international standard. This is Chinese standard. So different uh, country, they have different uh, range. So when you uh, when you so when you install in the machine, uh, you should get some suggestions from doctor. What is the recommended range in that place? Also in Europe and uh, America, they have different uh, standard. Same thing, the same the same as platelet. You can see the platelet. Uh, the quantity is much more, it's less than RBC, but much more than white blood cell. So you can see the shape is irregular shape, and the size is much smaller. So what's the function? Function is le leads to the f formation of blood clots to stop bleeding, and so to protect our self, right? So without platelet, um, you see the blood will keep uh, bleeding. So it's not good. So blood is very really useful, uh, especially for some dessert like uh, dengue or some some very uh, some very uh, serious uh, dessert. Uh, actually, I heard some news uh, in some area. Uh, once um, some people. Some people get the uh, vacuation by the uh, for the for anti for the uh, for the anti for the coronavirus nineteen. They, so after they get the get the uh, vacillation vacillation, some people's blood platelet is getting less. So this is not good. This is not good. So what to do? We have to stop. We have to do the measurement for their platelet. So platelet is very important for the uh, in IVD field. And uh, now uh, this this machine, hematology machines, is very useful to do the counting the platelet. So third one is white blood cell. White blood cell is irregular shape, but the size is very big. Remember the size from 40 to 300 uh, F, F liter. And what's the function for the white blood cell? It's involved in immune, immune system to defend the body against the both infection, desert, and the foreign materials. That is, you can say it is the policeman for the blood, 
for the human, for ourselves, to cure some uh, uh, bacteria or virus. So here, when we're doing a test for the men, uh, for the people with uh, coronavirus, once the people in infected by the, by the coronavirus, COVID-19, the white blood cell uh, will, have, will be something wrong, will be different, especially the nature fear uh, divide the lymphocyte. That value will be increasing. So, so that's why we need to do in the counting, right? Counting for the w, uh, WBC. And in the WBC, we, we have some more items, some more cells. Okay, here is the blood cell features. Features of blood cell, the size, the biggest one is WBC, then RBC, then platelet. The size of the blood cell, you can see the nature fear is bigger than your fear and bigger than basal, and uh, basal is have the same size like uh, mono and uh, bigger than lympho. The quantity proportion of the blood cell, this is the average one, okay. Uh, you can see the quantity is about 500 uh, to 30 to one. That means the RBC have the best, have the most uh, quantity. Okay. Even we have the hematology counting, right? But actually, the, here we have the gold standard. What is the gold standard? That is blood micros, micro, microscope exam. And after we get that uh, microscope exam, we can have the the right the right uh, quantity. Okay, so for the doctor, they prefer have the exactly value for each cell to do to to give the medicine, right? Some some medicine, some doctor, they they are they will check the result first, then give the medicine. Without the result, they can do nothing, right? So this is the, our modern modern medical uh, development. Here, here is the WBC, okay, you can see the lympho and the nature fear, eosinophil and the basophil, monocyte, okay, here is the nature fear and uh, this is the, you can see the nature fear, it's a little different, right, different with eosinophil and the monocyte, there's no glenular in the monocyte. And other ones, the three ones, we have glonia, nature field, eosinophil, and the basophil, we have glonia here. <coughs> and the lymphocyte is the smallest. Okay. Next is the anticoagulant tube introduction. For the anticoagulant tube, uh, you can see, you can see the, hello? You mean my microphone, right? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, please, uh, can, you, can you know, do you know the name of that, uh, that engineer? Yes, Forba Sherba. Uh, Forba Sherba, could you please mute your micros microphone? Hello? Okay, now it's okay, continue. For the anticoagulant tube, here for hematology, we only use this type, the, the one in purple. Why? Because the inside, the anticoagulant is different. That is EDTA, K2. And um, why why we using this one? For what? For counting. When we using this anticoagulant, we will get the best performance for counting the white blood cell, red blood cell, platelet, and, uh, and also doing the measuring. So this is the international standard. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, everyone, uh, so every 
operators, they must uh, uh, they, they know this. Okay. Second, the suitable concentration of any coagulant. That is also the high standard, 1.5 to 2.2 microgram per microliter. And the blood volume should be 2 microliter. So if the blood is not enough, when we're doing the uh, blood collecting, right? If the blood is too less, something wrong of the result. And if the blood is too much, the blood will also not good, OK? So the best volume inside the tube should be 2 microliter. Fourth is the specification. What is the specification? Specification is the, the diameter and the length of this tube. Uh, and the length is means without cap. And uh, when it uh, with cap, should, uh, should be the, the length should be less than 83. Why we have this standard? Why? Because when we doing the auto, when this tube is uh, installed on the auto loader, if the tube is too long, it it cannot pass the auto loader. It will be blocked by the by the uh, by the rack. So, in if you if you want to install a tube in our machine DH seventy six, we make sure the length of the tube should be less than eighty three. If it's the lower than eighty three, it's okay. Why? Because the if it's smaller, uh, we still can do punching, right? No problem. It's no problem. The punching still work. But the best way is we using the eighty three uh, millimeter uh, tube. Okay, so this is the tube. Some hospital they they don't have the tube. They are they are children's hospital, so they prefer the bullet. So the one at the right is the bullet for collecting the blood from children and uh, because the children they is difficult to get the winner's blood so we use this bullet to collect capillary blood but inside look any coagulant is the same like the, the tube and the concentration is also same and the blood but the blood collection volume is is different only 50 microliters uh, for the blood, so very less comparing to the two microliters is very very less, and uh, the children, you know, uh, they will easy to get, so not too much crying from the children. So when we because it's very painful for them, and the specification is eleven microliter times forty micro micrometer. And what, uh, why we have the standard here? Actually, the specification is not the problem. Uh, why? When we're using this tube, uh, this bullet to do the uh, counting, it cannot install it on the auto loader. Um, it's too small. So we using this bullet. Well, once we are using this bullet, we only can do the manual, manual counting. OK? So this is the differences between the bullet and the tube. Number three is the blood collection method. Why we would like to introduce this part? Because sometimes the, f the problem is not from our machine, but from the way of the operators. Here is the, the upper picture is showing how to do in the capillary blood collection. Uh, so we can get the blood from the finger, tips or ear drops and uh, we, we have to use the, uh, the needle to punch the, to punch in the finger and then after that we will, we will remove the first job and using the, the glass tube to do the collecting and then feeding and then uh, push the blood into the bullet. The second picture is the most common that is the venous blood collection. So where is the blood from? The blood is from the vein, vein, veins, veins, the arm veins 
from the page from the people. Okay. So, but he, but here we have some precautions when we doing about home blood test. Firstly, for the, this is for the venous blood. Okay, what's the precautions? First, after we collecting the two microliter blood in the tube, we must do the mixing. How do the mixing? We do inverting up and down eight two times. This is very critical, very important. For what? For make sure all the anticoagulant mixed well with blood, and uh, and then there's no. Uh, so if they mixed well, there's no clotting. If if we forget to, if the nurse forget to do the inverting, the blood will be easy to uh, uh, clogged. So even we have blood, we cannot get a perfect result. Machine wheel alarm, clotting, clotting, too many clotting. Especially we are using the auto loader. You you can you, you will find this problem a lot. Why? From the first tube to the last tube, it it is about uh, there are there are sixty samples, sixty sixty tubes. Uh, in the uh, in the auto loader. So it take too much time uh, for for the for the waiting. That's why the blood will easy to be clogged. So remember, mixing, inverting is very important. Second step is the sample should be uh, equilibrated at room temperature for ten to fifteen minutes. For what? For remove the the, blood, the bubbles. If the bubbles is too much, it will affect the counting result. So that's why we have to do some waiting, not not do the test immediately, just inverting and then do the test. It's not a lot. We have to wait for some uh, minutes. Minimum is ten minutes. And uh, number three, the third step is the we have to finish the sample testing within eight hours. We cannot wait too much time, otherwise the result will be very different, especially the different result. You will find the result of the basal, eosinophil, neutrophil, we are getting less. The result will be not the uh, same with the flesh blood. So finish the testing in one day uh, is the best thing. Uh, Especially when we doing the repeating, uh, repeat the uh, reproductive test, we cannot say in uh, today the, the result is like this and tomorrow the result is a little different. It's a lot. It's okay. It's normal. But when we doing the reproductivity, uh, reproducibility test, we can test uh, at the same time. For, for example, eleven times test. Okay, this is the same time. The reproducibility should be very good and. Uh, and also because this is the flesh blood, so the result is very similar. The CV will be very good, but we cannot compare the result from the first day, second day, and the third day in three days, and then we count in the CV. That's not allowed. You will find the differences. Okay. So the last one, uh, uh, we can remember. The sample, the minimum sample volume should be not less than 1.0 microliter. That means uh, if if it's too less, there will be some uh, problem. Okay. Here is the precautions for the capillary blood test. What's the differences? There are three more precautions here. First one, choosing the collect blood sampling area. Uh, generally, we using the the second uh, finger, right, and the punch in the middle. We do punch in the middle, not uh, other place, not here, not here, not here, just at the in the middle, end of the finger, the second one, and uh, do not take the first job. Why? There's there there might be something component in the first job. Some skin or some particles so we have to remove it by the cotton stick 
So after we remove the first drop, we can do the pressing. We can press in the finger and use the glass tube to collect in the capillary blood. So the next other steps is the same. Only the first two steps are different. So we using the glass tube to collect in and push in. Uh, if you want to know more details, uh, actually we have a video. So later I will show a video uh, for the blood collection. Okay. Number two is a product introduction. Specification, advantage. So here is an overview of our DH76. So you can, now you can see a computer here. But actually, DMI will not provide a computer together with machine. We only provide this machine and some, uh, some cables, like link cables, like uh, six six pieces lacquer and also some uh, reagent and also I've cut and some uh, power cable and uh, some connectors like that but uh, no we don't have computer we don't have computer for for our for distributors specification here uh, let me highlight some some theme uh, first is the major principle. We are using the flow cytometry, triangle laser scanner, and the chemical stain staining. So this is the this is the principle. So why we are why we why we introduce this principle? Because different machine maybe they are using different uh, principle. For example, three part analyzer. Three part analyzer. We there is no flow cytometry for three part uh, hematology analyzer but here we are we having the laser so if if you see the laser and the flow cytometry that means for what for default counting right for default counting for we, we can get a more uh, two uh, we can get a file part file default file part uh, uh, counting result like the percentage like the quantity so this is the advantage second we have three sample modes: venous home blood, capillary home blood, and the pre diluted That is the PD mode. So here there are three short names for them. VWB means venous blood, venous home blood. CWB means capillary home blood. PD means pre diluted Okay, third so advantage is to 29 parameters, including 25 reportable parameters. And uh, remember, we have the best advantage, that is 3D scattergram. For what? Once there's only 2D, uh, we, can, we cannot see the location of the, three, uh, the file part. Uh, particles like uh, you, you can see some different like a monos monocyte and your synophil some particles they were a little clock uh, they were a little closed so if we have the three D uh, scattergrams we can see some more very clear uh, like the picture you know for example uh, some picture some picture now you can see we have two D picture right but if we have three D like the 3D cinema, yeah, when we go to the, see the uh, video uh, in the cinema, right? 3D is much better than 2D. Why? The feeling is different, and we can see we can see some more uh, impressive things. So same like for doctors, they will, they will help them to do some more study. So that's why our machine can do can give the uh, research parameter for what for study. Like uh, an RBC, uh, like uh, some more um, AR, uh, like uh, AR, some abnormal, some abnormal uh, uh, large cell. Okay, ASC, that is ASC, it means abnormal one. So 3D is very useful and our biggest uh, advantages. The the number five is the speed. The testing speed is 80 tests per hour. But remember, this 80 tests per hour is the CBC, CBC mode, not CBC plus diff. 
Number six is the auto and the open wire more supported. Uh, you we can do in the auto, but we also can do the open wire. Means uh, when we, we can stop it and uh, and uh, do the open wire in the middle, and after that we can continue to the auto. Uh, next one is the large storage cap uh, cap uh, capacity. Okay, six types language are available, and then the support uh, by directional list. This is very important, very useful for some lab. So high quality spare parts. The valves is from Japan and uh, from SMC. The pump is from Germany, K and F. And uh, the pump, air pump. Uh, in one machine we have one air pump. This one is also from Japan and uh, the prop is from uh, SMAT, from Switzerland. The brand is Unimed. And the uh, next one is uh, the CPU is from USA, that is analog devices. And uh, that's why the cost, maybe it's a little higher than other brand, but much more stable. And the flow cell, flow cell is from also from Japan. That is Takasako. So, so some customer they always asking, uh, Jerry, can you send me the spare parts only for the the flow cell? But actually, we cannot do that. Why? Because we are not doing. The, we only doing the uh, assembling. We 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 are we cannot do in the calibration. The calibration is done by Japan, so that's why the cost of the laser unit is very expensive. Uh, here in DMI, our our core uh, ability is the software. The software is our advantage. So even uh, we are using different kind of material, but we have our software to do the counting. So that's why the result is very. Uh, very perfect. Tube is from France. That is the Senegal, 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 and the connectors is from USA. Why the connector is and the tubes is very important. Why? If the quality is not good, you will find the problem. And uh, after sometimes using the inside the tube will be very easy to be clogged, blocked. So this is our advantage uh, because less maintenance if you are using DMIS uh, tube, DMIS uh, hematology analyzer. So parameters, as we mentioned, that is 29 parameters. So RBC, they are, they are about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 parameters. Okay. Uh, sorry, eight parameters for RBC, and eleven for the WBC, and the platelet we have six. Okay, six parameters for BRT, and uh, also uh, we have research parameters, ALY and LIC. ALY means what? Abnormal lymphocyte. LIC means large immature their percentage and the quantity. So why we have this research? Research means there's no uh, standard, uh, only for study, for maybe some profession, some doctor, they prefer to to check this parameter. So we, we have this parameter. So you can see there's no cues, no control, and uh, no, uh, no value sheet for the research parameters. And in our machine, uh, you can see uh, if you are comparing of mini fire part and uh, our fire part machine like DA50 and uh, DA DH76, there's one thing very different. DA50, there's no research key, but in DH76 we have research key. So even the sometimes machine we are showing the star star result, it will uh, it will uh, how to say that it will deny. Denial the result gives star signal, right? But when we collect the research parameter, it will give you result again. So that's a very good advantage for DH76. Totally 
very uh, so here is the histogram. Here you can see, uh, you know, when our machine DH seventy six still using the core, using the impedance principle to do the counting for basal and the WBC. WBC means the the quantity for the WBC means the whole uh, quantity, including uh, nature, uh, basal, and the monocyte, eosinophile, and also the lymph. So all these all these uh, particles, the total one, we call it a WBC. And the basal means uh, one of it. So, but we using the basal, uh, we counting the basal by my impedance principle. So that's why um, our software can read in the result from here. And the RBC, we also using the uh, impedance principle. So you can see this is the histogram, histogram, histogram. And uh, and also for platelet, platelet is also counting by impedance principle. But the we are using a scattergram to do the counting. So you can see there are three camera from different size. From this is a, a low sig low signal and the middle signal. So from this picture, we are doing counting, right? Counting by software or counting by something. And uh, this is another side, uh, LS and HS, and HS and the MS. So three picture, actually this is for, for one thing, one, one uh, we can say that for one thing, but from different angle, and then we take three picture. For example, uh, when we t when we go to the Photoshop, photo Photoshop to do the to take photo, right? We you can take photo from front and take photo from right side and take photo from left side. So this is just like that. So after take the photo, we will uh, our software will give you the three D scatter scattergram. So that means this three D scattergram we have to do the more much more counting, and you can see the color here in blue. What's that? This is the ghost. What is ghost? Ghost means the broken RBC. And the green, the ones, the area in green that is lymphocyte. The one in purple that is monocyte. The one in light blue that is neutrophil. And the one here in red, this is in the eosinophil. Okay, here comes the questions. Where is the basal? Where is the basal? Because actually we the lice cannot kill the kill the basal particles, right? So actually the basal is still here, but behind the neutrophil. So when we doing the counting, when if we have three D three D counting, right? We still can get the basal from back, so that's why we have the, we have the biggest advantage for further study. Reagent. So here is some introduction, very basic introduction for the reagent. You can see the shelf life for the for the diluent and the less less a less less one less. Last two and the last three, the shelf life is two years, even for the cleanser. But but once we open them, the shelf life will be shortened to sixty days, and the storage environment is thirteen, uh, fifteen to thirty degree. So remember this one. The calibrator calibrator is for. So every half the year, we have to do the calibration. Or when we doing doing the installation, we must do the calibration. The shelf life is sixty days, and the the shelf life after opening is only seven days. And the QC, uh, is shelf life is ninety days, and the shelf life after opening is fourteen days. So remember, these are very important for engineer. So when we doing the when we store in the QC and the control, we must use the refrigerator or all the all the box with ice. So so when we doing when we send in when we doing a delivery from China to your country, we are using the airplane, and we have we must have the very fast 
faster delivery and uh, and, and uh, we we recommend you to buy the DMI calibrator and the DMI control so next is the advantage user friendly this is the software uh, you can see very similar to the list software but uh, easy so easy to understand in uh, this is the DMI logo report this is the neg uh, navigation menu bar and this is the status indicators so we can change the report review worklist status and uh, one by one lock this is the uh, neg uh, navigation menu and also indicators this is what what's that this is the connection uh, this is the alarm alarm of the machine green means normal red means some alarm and this is the internet key the internet sorry the connection between the PC and the machine if this uh, in this uh, icon is uh, green is on means connection is normal and this is the least connection this connection means what uh, we are using the uh, there's another link cable connecting to the PC right so once they are connected this key will be on and here is the printer printer is, is normally it will you will see the color is green okay and this is the minimum minimum key and uh, this key the, you can see the, there is a lock key for what for transfer the account between the mirror and to service and to other sub sub uh, accounts and the, this is the power off key so every day at the night if we want to switch off the machine we click here number three is the function button area for long valid batch validate print and a batch print, uh, print view, delete. So this is for some uh, function select. And the sample area, this is the sample area. Here, all this here is sample area. For long, the patient information, result, and some alarm messages. And the uh, scattergram. This is the 3D scattergram. This is the 2D scattergram. And this is the histogram for the WBC and the basal. This is the histogram for the RBC. This is this is a histogram histogram for the platelet. Number eight means what? Number eight means the current sampling test information or connection of a normal alarm area. So you can see if we see this RBC, you can see there are some many RBC. That means this machine is doing counting. If there is no no uh, letter no RBC here that means machine is stand standby standby so when you see this icon means it's doing the counting it will show you an analyzing sample counting sample ID like this and then blah 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 and the, what's the mode position one one means the, it's just the first sample and the number nine is the next sample ID name and the mode and the position so this is the second sample status number 10 is for next sample information so if we are number 10 is the operation button area so if we want to change the mode like uh, auto mode and uh, we want to change it change it to the auto mode to the manual mode or to copy bra mode so we have to click the mode first and then change it add a diluent that is the PD mode and uh, then here you can see the stop right so this means we can stop it. And the last one is STAT. What means STAT? SST, STAT means for emergency uh, test. To if, if I want to insert uh, open wire sampling, I can click uh, STAT. Then machine will finish it the current counting, but stop in the middle of auto, auto sampling, right? Then I can do the open wire. After that, I click STAT again. The machine will continue to do the auto mode counting. So, for example, there are ten times. For example, here give an exam. There is ten times counting from one to ten, right? So, in the middle, number five, I click the STAT key. The machine will finish the fifth counting. 
then stop. For what? For waiting my emergency test. That emergency test is for uh, for some special sample result. Very, but very urgently. Maybe I, I, I cannot wait for waiting for too much too much time. I, I just need uh, two minutes to get the result. So I will use STAT. So that's why our machine is very popular in the in some lab because they can make it as uh, image uh, auto sample auto testing. Why? Because they are huge workload, right? They also can stop it and do do it uh, manually, uh, sample counting. Eleven is the warning area. This is the warning area. Some sometimes it will have clotting or maybe the, um, some aperture or HGB or something like uh, like alarm need uh, maintenance or something else. And uh, the last at the bottom you can see the current user. There are many kind of other other count accounts like Admir. Admir is for the doctor and uh, we also can build some some very uh, sub account like uh, we say uh, the name maybe doctor maybe the nurse nurse one nurse two nurse three and uh, and give a different account so you can see if there are many kind of uh, nurse uh, you can see uh, they can they can do their own uh, counting so here is the others is the, like the time, the current time, year, date, month. Okay. So this is the inter work list. What it means work list? Work list is for if I want to do the separate uh, mode for different uh, for different page, different tube, different sample, like uh, the sample one. Okay, this is the auto loader, right? I give the name for the sample one, and the position is like this. But the first mode, I want to do uh, AWB mode. Second one, I want to do the CBC, not the CBC diff. Third one, I want to CBC diff again. Last one, I want to do uh, some others. Okay, so we can ch we can given a different uh, mode for different sample. Bef so we will input the um, we will input the models first, then second, we start to do the work list. Okay. And this is for pre -ent pre entry, pre enter the information of a sample and the mode of the patient information for instant. Very con very convenient and efficient. St uh, this is the static st uh, statistics. statistics. Uh, statistics. This is for what? You know, uh, some hospital they are not buying, they are not purchasing the machine from us. They just lend, they do lender business, right? So if they are doing lender business, they will pay by contents. So what to? So how to how to do the how to calculate their contents from where? From this place. So we will select the uh, counting. We will select the uh, counting here, uh, and uh, and select the uh, we will select the uh, worked uh, status, and uh, we will select the uh, the uh, first month, second month, third month, and then it will give you how many how many countings for CBC mode, how many counting for CBC plus different mode. So we can give the beer to them. So from here. So this uh, this will, this is very smart, and uh, if you are if you don't want to visit this hospital again, if you don't want to visit the hospital, you can install a team viewer for this machine. Then you can do the remote, and the check the check the counting, check the uh, check the the status here. By but you need to get the allowance for from the hospital, right? So this is this is very good function. You no need to visit him, and you also can have the result the contents from them. Next is the custom parameters setting. Uh, for why we have this uh, setting for what? Just uh, for printing together with some other result, like ESR, like uh, CRP, because this machine is not supported by CRP, right? Like the blood type, and anyone 
if you have the result, you can you, you just input the result here and the print them together with our report. So the function is for what? For printing, printing together and save the paper for the hospital. This one is the user uh, defined report format. We have some multi uh, predefined report and the formats. So but just choosing them. Uh, A4 paper, A5 paper, and uh, later and uh, continuous paper, anyone, you can use the formats. Next one is the multi sample mode. What is multi sample mode? Means uh, we can uh, CBC, you can see the VWB mode, we can do CBC, CBC diff, CW mode, CBC, CBC diff, AWB mode, we can use CBC and the CBC diff. PD, we can use CBC and CBC diff. So totally we have eight modes. Easy troubleshooting. So in this, uh, in our machine, remember you have the DMI robot support. So once you get the alarm code, like from here, right? Send the alarm code to DMI robot, then you will get the solution. If not, you can call our engineer by the WeChat group or WhatsApp group. Or by or send by email uh, with our customer feedback report. There, there's a technical fire report. You can fill fill a report and then send them to our engineer, and then, and then our engineer will come back to you uh, with more solutions. But remember, we we need a serial number, picture, alarm code, video, or some more details, uh, like initial description, like what you did. So. Very important. Okay. Yes, we have a remove remove error key. So once there's an alarm, we you, we can try to remove the alarm by this key. This key we call a one button uh, uh one but one button uh, uh, alarm uh, solution. Yeah, we can click here. If machine if alarm still there, we have to uh, you have to contact our service department. And yes, try to get the DMI, DMI robot support, TB server support, auto loader. Okay, here the auto loader, you can see the capacity. That is 660 samples at once. And we can do continuously sample loading. Auto loading system is contributed to the improving efficiency and reducing cost. We This is very helpful for the nurse. Otherwise, they will, the operator will be getting crazy by uh, by manual feeding, it, it's so boring. So with this uh, auto loader, uh, you will have much more, um, much more convenient. Yep. So that's why uh, we no need to open a cap, right? So especially there's another advantage uh, in current uh, situation because of COVID-19. COVID-19 is not allowed to open a cap. Why? It's very serious. It's very dangerous to open the blood. Maybe some infecting in the lab library. So we must uh, use DH seventy six. DH fifty and DH thirty six is no more suitable for the lab because of COVID nineteen. We must use auto loader machine, especially in China now. All uh, as I know, even even the countryside hospital. Uh, a very small uh, a clinic, they must use in the hematology with um, auto loader. So, they will, so that's why uh, DMI have a very big market in, in China uh, due, just due to this COVID-19. They, they prefer the one with auto loader. So they buy the D7 CRP or, or DH70, DH76. But in China, the one thing is different is we are using CRP mode, so they prefer D7 CRP. So now you can see every unit, every library, every every small clinic, they using D7 CRP. So, but this machine is very very good um, support. So and big market, maybe in your country, the machine with all the loader will be getting more and more safe and the more and the more popular. Why? Because COVID-19. There are too many COVID-19 and uh, it's not allowed to open the tube anymore. 
the situation is changing. So when we doing the promoting, if I if I were if I was if I were a salesman, I will recommend DH seventy six instead instead of the F fifty or DH seventy six thirty three. Okay. Yeah, they are cheap, but they are not suitable anymore for the safety of the doctor, so for the safety of the operator. So we 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 recommend the H seventy six. And the auto sample mixing, here is very uh, another advantage. When we using the auto loader, we no need to mixing anymore. Inverting, right? Do you remember the inverting? Inverting, no need to inverting anymore. Why? We have a mixer inside the machine. It will give the mixing automatically. So next is the intelligent technology. That is the automatic uh, reminder for abnormal sample and um, adapt, uh, adaptive intelligent different technology and uh, visual self-test and uh, some permission for new adding customized parameter and the modify alarm range automatic automatically clearing test tube and the test tube leg. So very you very very safe. Easy operation and the maintenance. So you can see uh, they are simple simple simplified daily man maintenance by soaking and the proper cleanser during the shutdown. When we doing the shutdown it will automatically remind the user to do the soaking twice and the one button key to do running. I've cut updating region information automatically intelligence and we are using a closed system closed region system by Africa so it's very safe so once we rent we do rent the business it's, it's very safe by Africa better than the barcode so you can see some three part machine list they are using the barcode um, closed system right but that one in have a very shortage where have uh, some disadvantage, not 100% uh, closed. And uh, some ones still can use uh, some reagent from other brand. But uh, if we are using the RF card, it's very safe for our business. Micro sample aspiration, only 20 microliters for the home blood. Okay, so it is good for the uh, children and good for the patient with ex uh, excessive blood loss or very safe for the other people. Operation and the maintenance. So we do daily operation and uh, procedures and the basic maintenance for end user. So what are they? This is the equipment with inspection. So every day, what do we have to do? Check the waste container is not full, all tubes and the power cables connected well, and enough printer papers, and the printer is connected well, Lane cable is connected to the analyzer. Check the indicators. There are two indicators here. And the startup. Startup is uh, we use the password, or the mirror. The password is the same on the mirror, but, you can, but we can change it. If you want to uh, switch, if you want to uh, uh, swift, swift the account, click this uh, lock. And you can change it to service account or some other account. Service account, uh, that is only for engineer, and the password is uh, special. So please get the password from our engineer. This is a daily control, daily quality control. So every day, the first day at the morning, we have to do the control check. Some hospital, they, they doing the one level, they using the, the normal level uh, control and they only do once. Um, or some, com some library, they are using the three levels from low level, normal level and high level and they, do the, they check the control. For what? For that, for control, for confirm that the machine is in good status, machine and the reagent is in good condition. 
So you can see uh, we can import the like, QC file or we can use the scan the QR code then to input the like, control immediately. So we recommend uh, our customer to buy the, buy the barcode scanner, then they can do the control value sheet inputting very quickly. This is the daily control. So after the control, you will get result, right? So this firstly we check after we get the value sheet from the setting, then we go to the QC analysis to do the QC check. So we select the file number, input the lot number, level is normal, right? Three can totally there are three levels. Low level, normal level, and high level. QC mode is this is should be home blood and the CBC plus div. And expiry date. This is for the con con control. Uh, same ID and existing total. This is forget it. Editor normally is rather mere. And the QC analyzing operator and the running time. This is the time. So normally, less firstly after we finish the counting of the control, there should there should be no no flag, no flags. And in the in the range, if you want to check the we also can check it by graph here. So we can click the QC graph here, QC table. Okay. Sample analysis for open. Okay, this, this one we already introduced. Like uh, we have totally, we have eight modes. Eight mode. This is the mode for winners, Capillaria, PD, AWB, and CBC, CBC Div. Okay. And this is we can click the mode, select the mode, select the measure mode, and in, this is the measure measure mode. This is the mode, and input the sample number, mix sample where, press, aspirate key to run sample. Sample analysis. This is for auto model. So uh, for the auto mode, when we using the auto model, we do the setting like the general setting or the loader, and the check the options as right picture. We will check the auto scan lock number ID and the auto scan the sample ID. Means machine will automatically doing the scanning. Okay. And uh, then select the measure mode, input the lock and the sample ID, press the lock with the tip on loading uh, loading chain, click the start button on press and then press we have to select the auto home blood. Select here and select C B C mode. And uh, and uh, input the lock number and the tube number. If if we are if we are using divided setting, that is one one one, and click OK. So after we finish the uh, testing by AW mode, we will uh, fill in the patient information after that. Okay. Same thing for the for the PD mode. We go to the mode and select the measure mode and click the add diluent. And place a clean uh, centrifuge. Um, this is an empty tube under the prop. That is also like looks like the bullet or some tube, but it's empty. So we press last brick key uh, to lo to and uh, remove it. Then we will get the get some uh, diluent. Okay. Then add the add the twenty microliter capillary blood. Into the blood uh, by pipette, by pipette, pipette. Then we mix the sample and test it. So when we using the PD mode, that is the manual mode. We cannot do the auto mode. So PD is by manual. Okay. Shut down. So every day at the night, we are going to shut down the machine. So we will perform as the uh, we will click the list key and then perform as the close operation. So once after we click yes it will alarm. Clean the maintenance down. Please power off the analyzer. So this is the step by step to shut down and then feed the cleanser twice. And maintenance. We have the maintenance plan for the end user. Here we don't we not only have end user for engineer, we also have the maintenance plan for the uh, for the engineer, we have uh, two maintenance plan. One for engineer, one for the end user. So what are they to do? They have to generate the waste leakage, check if reagent is enough, switch on the machine with the background, do a QC test, 
every day they have to list and if it's normal then then uh, choosing it validate and uh, validate all that to of the day there is blood samples clean the surface of the workbench and the machine go to service interface and the maintenance and then do soaking every day so if the sample the workload is quite a lot we suggest uh, uh, do the sample soaking every day shut down using the cleanser and the weekly maintenance we can use the q-tip and the alcohol to clean the prop by swap after clean we use the pure water to clean the alcohol and also clean the surface of the shredding box this is a weekly for cleaning clean the soaking what is clean the soaking if there, that means uh, if the if the total number of the sample test has reached 100, machine will auto run. Machine will remind you to do the cleanser soaking. So we will feed the cleanser and do soaking. If not, maybe machine will alarm, some kind of uh, clotting alarm. Prepare to ship. So when should we do the prepare to ship? First the situation, if the analyzer is not to be used for more than one week, we have to do the prepare to ship. Second, if the machine needs to be transported over a long distance, transporting hours over two hours, so we have to do the prepare to ship. Last one is number four, basic troubleshooting. Basic troubleshooting, you can get some more uh, suggestions from the user's menu or service menu like uh, connected to the analyzer so what to do if a machine alarm not connected to the analyzer check what <clears throat> check if the IP setting con uh, config configurations of the computer should be what the computer should be 10.0.0 1.1.102 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and the sub mask should be 255.255.255.0 this is the setting should be clicked second make sure the firewall or any antivirus software of machine of the computer are turned off and removed and then reconnect the link cable or replace the link cable check the connection if still not works get the, get the information from the DMI robot if you can still cannot solve the problem, then send an email to our DMI engineer by feeding the technical issue feedback. HGB voltage abnormal. So why this alarm will be there? Why? For what? Because of different a lot of diluent. When machine doing the counting HGB, right? It will be counting the voltage for the diluent. So you can see when there's nothing, there's no blood, there's no lines, you will get a, get a defaulted result. The, cut, the result of the blank voltage should be 4.5, more or less 0.1. So we increasing the, the value to, to, make, to make the voltage stable at 4.5. If you find this voltage always cannot be adjusted, then what happened? Maybe the chamber is empty. There's no diluent enter into the chamber, so we have to open the right door and open the, the shading box and check if there's some diluent in the WBC chamber. So HGB counting is in the WBC chamber, but we have to go to where? Go to setup, host the setup, setting up, and then go to gain setting, and then go to this interface to do this adjustment. If but sometimes not always maybe some lot zero and we have this alarm so we do the adjustment here. Waste containers is full. Generally, this problem is caused by the sensor, but the warranty of this sensor is only uh, one year. So remember, so when you have this this one, we can say. Um, Cannot be sh cannot be uh, uh, crushed. For example, it's falling down on the floor, right? 
length will be broken. Why? Because inside is a magnet. If the magnet is out of order, this sensor will be have to be replaced. So check how to check it? We can check it manually. Uh, check the connection and uh, check the, the, the function of this floater. By what? By multimeter. We, we can upside down, upside down this sensor and then check if the alarm is there. And also check, we can use the multimeter and check if it's conducted. If it's conducted, there's two sensors, right? So that means the sensor is good. So if it's uh, upper, is con uh, lower is connected. Diluent uh, running out, same situ same function. This is there's also a magnet inside it, uh, uh, the the plastic. So we also using the we can using the multimeter to check the function of this sensor. We take it out and up down to check if the sensor is work or not. If still not, we have to replace it. Yeah, just replace. But before that, we can try to uh, check the connection. The installation should be straight. Should be straight in the in the container, and then check the cleaning. We try to clean in this one. Why? Because maybe some at the bottom is a little sticky, so the floater cannot move up and down freely. So we have to do replacement. Do and the exploration. So what to do? We have to do. We can get a new card and then do the self test and then scan it at all to check if the problem is from card or from the machine if from the card we you can get a new one from from us if the problem is from the machine maybe the the i board is something wrong right so we have to do the replacement or maybe the something wrong of the software so we need a dmi robot support and you also can send us an email to claim the spare parts Next uh, is insuff insufficient insufficient last two. So this is the how to do that. What to do? Check the border is empty or not, and uh, we can try to replace a new one. And uh, try to click the remove the error, or we can set the reagent information. Or if machine if alarm still there, maybe we should do some calibration. Okay, calibration for the the liquid level board. Reagent, reagent, uh, that black board, that inside there is a board to detecting the, this uh, liquid. RBC and the WBC clotting. Oh, when this alarm is coming, we can go to the service and the maintenance to click the unclocking. This is manually to perform a screening. It, or we, if, if still not works, we can do in the Clean the soaking or zapping. Zapping. We do zapping for WBC or RBC. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. And uh, we are going to have a break. After that, we will come back to the level B training. Okay. Thank you. So, do you have any question?